All right, how about weather-wise? How are we looking out there at the beaches right now? Clearing out, isolated shower left over. I think the evening at the beach actually looks nice. So let's go out there right now, live from Clearwater. This is the Wyndham Grand Clearwater Beach. Beautiful view. Look at that water. We actually had really light winds earlier today. You could see a little bit of a ripple out there now with the wind blowing on shore. It's not a lot, but it was just glassy at times today out there. 79 degrees too. How about that? That wind's only blowing out of the northwest around five miles per hour. So the rain is finally starting to dry up. Couple little showers left over parts of Pasco and Citrus. Rain ending now in the St. Pete area. You can see most areas in Pinellas and Hillsborough are now dry. Still going to find some wet roads out there. But overall, traffic this evening, you're expecting somebody home. Shouldn't be terrible as far as the weather goes. Uh, you can see the rain falling apart in Northport, too, down south, southern Sarasota. Better chance <laughs> Highlands County really starting to develop the showers and storms. I mean, you can see we've seen so much more sunshine there. Temperatures pushed 90 degrees while we stayed in the 70s and low 80s for many spots along the coast with all those clouds. So this will thin out a little bit. I do think we'll keep some rain chances in the forecast through about 11 o'clock and then yeah, there's still plenty of moisture to work with over the next couple of days. Temperature wise 78 Newport Ritchie, 80 in Brooksville, 87 now in Frostproof, 84 in Sarasota and that's that's with the clouds too. Now here's the forecast. Watch a couple of these showers coming back. That's 7 p.m. I'm going to stop at about 11 p.m. We will still have one or two showers left over after that, and then I think things quiet down overnight tonight. Tomorrow morning, isolated shower offshore. Most areas will stay dry in the morning. Good news. And then as we get towards lunchtime, we'll pop up some showers right along the coast. They'll try to work their way inland, and then watch as they come back again towards the coast in the evening hours. So that's a pretty decent chance, especially if you live along and just east of I-75 for your Tuesday. All right, so what I'm showing you here, all this green, that's the amount of moisture in the atmosphere from the ground all the way up. The more of that, the better your rain chances, especially when you get some sunshine to heat us up. Look at the cold front coming. Lots of dry air behind it. Thursday, it gets stuck, and this is actually typical for this time of year. It will bring in a lot of nice air, cool air, drier air, lower humidity for our friends just up north. It gets stuck just north of us Thursday, Friday. You see, look at Citrus County trying to see a little bit of dry air, but over the weekend, look what happens by Sunday. It starts to filter in, pushing some of that drier air down to the south. Yes, Sunday, Monday, even in the Tuesday, I think we're going to get a taste of our first cold front of the season. And that's like big news around here this time of the year. Dew points aren't dropping a whole lot, but you notice Sunday and Monday down in the upper 60s. I think that number will come down a little bit, and that is what's really going to make it feel so much better. Just you know, having less humidity around, right? Even with temperatures still in the 80s, upper 80s. Uh, tonight, we're falling down through the low 80s into the 70s. Isolated showers. The clouds will be clearing, and I hope they do because we've got a full moon. Harvest moon. Moon rises at 741 this evening. Moon, uh, sun sets at about 729, so that's actually pretty good timing uh, to see a good moon rise. But again, we've got to get around a lot of these clouds are going to still be out there. Tomorrow we're going to go to the upper 80s. Rain chance, eh, 50, 50 to 60 percent chance. Boating still looks good. South winds to the west around five knots smooth out there. It's been gorgeous. All right, we finally have Pete Rose on the tropical map. Tropical storm Peter, tropical storm Rose. <laughs> we are 17 names deep already. We only got four left on the list. This time last year, we were at 23 named storms, so it's been a little bit quieter, not by much. Peter will recurve. Bermuda will keep an eye on it. Maybe 40 mile per hour winds when it comes by. It's not a big deal. Model, see how the fronts come up and pick it up and take it right out to sea. This is Rose. That's moving away. That's 98. Rose, again, I don't think is an issue. That'll stay well out into the eastern Atlantic and then recurve. 98 will have to watch, but right now, long term models get it in this area in here. In fact, maybe even a little bit closer and then pick it up and take it back out with those cold fronts that are going to try and bring us some of that dry air. That's a typical weather map really for late September, early October. So we'll keep an eye on it. By the way, guys, there's your seven day forecast. Fall officially begins at 320 p.m. The autumnal equinox occurs then that's on Wednesday. We stay warm, we stay humid, but I think some of that dry air is going to get in here and cut our rain chances by Sunday into next week. Pete Rose, a pretty accurate hitter. Let's hope it stays away from us for sure.